Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a subject that I feel really strongly about because of how important it is to everyone, especially hockey players, and that's going to be nutrition. When we're looking at hockey outside the professional leagues, nutrition is one of those subjects that I feel doesn't get anywhere near as much of attention as it should, especially because of how important it is for us. The reason it's so important is that it governs and directly controls and contributes to things like our energy levels on the ice, our cognitive response, and translating that into hockey terms, that's our ability to be able to read the game, read the plays, to be able to make quick and instant decisions on what's going to happen on the ice. It also controls our mood and our ability to be able to put on and lose fat or muscle, so it's a very crucial subject that hockey players should familiarise themselves with if you're trying to become the best hockey player that you can be. So to kick off this nutritional series, we're going to be taking a look at things that you can eat before games and practices and also after games and practices. You'd normally be expecting me to give you a meal plan right about now, but the reason that I'm not going to be doing that is because different people respond to different foods and meals completely differently. So it's something that we're going to give you the foundation or tips that you can follow and tweak and develop them so they can suit you much better. A quick side note is nutrition is a really complex subject, so what we're going to be doing in this video is simplifying it to make sure that everyone gets a good understanding of what they need to be able to do before and after games. So now I'm going to be handing over to Matt from Elite Therapy and Total Athlete Development, who as you guys know from our previous videos, is a strength and conditioning coach. There's going to be some links down below if you want to see some of the other fitness stuff that we've done. So the first thing we're going to cover today is the importance of nutrients within hockey. Can nutrients give you that energy to perform? And the ones we're going to break down today are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and hydration, so the water that you intake. The main ones that you're going to look for to perform well in hockey is going to be carbohydrates, because that's what your body uses to produce energy. We need to, carbohydrates are very underrated. People don't eat carbohydrates, they don't like them. So we need to get over the importance of how important carbohydrates are in the sport of ice hockey. That's what your body uses, it's gonna, that's how you're going to produce energy, that's how you're going to last into that third period. Proteins are again going to be so important after, a little bit before but mainly after because it, it replenishes your muscle, it allows your muscle to grow, to recover. Hydration is probably going to be your, your next biggest factor. Without hydration you can't function cognitively, you can't function, your muscle needs water, your muscle is made up of water, so that's what you need. Okay? Fats are going to have their importance later on, not specifically in the actual performance, but later on in a generalised nutrition of, of your daily intake. One thing we need to get across is that practice and games should be treated in the same way. You'd hope to be practising at the same intensity that you play for an effective practice. So you want to be loading up on carbohydrates before practice. So your pre-game meals, your pre-practice meals should, should be carbohydrate based. I'd say ratios of four to one. I wouldn't worry about measuring anything out just get it generalised. So three to four hours before a practice or game, I'd have a high carbohydrate meal, so anything from pastas, your bread, your rice, three to four hours before with a little bit of protein and fats in there. Two to three hours before a game, again, I'd still have a carbohydrate-based meal, just of a smaller portion. So your body can then break that down a little bit quicker. And then Straight before the game, so 20-30 minutes before, I'd have more of your simple carbohydrates, so your sugary grains, your, your sweets even, some raisins, fruits. That all gets broken down real quickly before a game, and it's all carbohydrates, so your body can use it. Proteins are going to have most importance after the game. So that's when your body needs to recover and refuel. That's when you want protein in your body. You want some simple carbohydrates in there as well, but dominantly protein in that, in that post-game meal. Anywhere up to an hour after a game, I'd like you to be eating. Fats, again, after a game, they're not ideal because it slows down the digestion. So you want that, those simple carbohydrates and the protein to have quick absorption into your muscle and your body. And fats are just going to slow that down a little bit. So fats come in more of your whole day approach. If we're just looking at pre and post, fats aren't too important because they do slow down that digestion. Hydration. You, you know when you're thirsty as a simple rule, your body will tell you and if you're thirsty you're already dehydrated. So you need to stay on top, regular, regular intervals of just drinking, get every five minutes a sip of water, should stay on top. In hockey you sweat a lot because of the nature of the sport and the padding. So hydration is absolutely key to how your thoughts process, how you work, how you respond. Hydration is going to be so important so just stay on top of that. In an ideal world, we'd always be hydrated, we'd be drinking constantly. 
In reality, that's not the case. I'd start focusing on hydration four to five hours before a game. So making sure you're not thirsty at any point. Always have regular drinks five to six hours before. Start drinking a pint of water every hour-ish would be all right. After the game, you want to sort of weigh yourself, see how much you've lost. If you weigh yourself before and you're 180 pounds, and after a game you're 175 pounds, that's five pounds of water that you've lost. You're not going to burn fat or anything in, in a game period. So that's all water that you've lost. So five pounds of water equates to a lot of, a lot of water that you need to put back in your body. If you don't put all that water back in your body, you've lost it and you're dehydrated. So a great thing to do is weigh yourself before practice, after practice, replace whatever you've lost. Okay, so after a game, something that, that I would use for people would be a handful of raisins for your simple carbohydrates immediately after the game. The problem we find is, is people don't want to eat straight after exercise. So your easiest solution, it's not ideal, but would be a carbohydrate-based drink. So your protein shakes with a fair bit of carbohydrates in that you can buy from anywhere. So a carbohydrate-based protein drink. If you don't want that, a good meal to have, which is ideal, would be a small jacket potato, handful of raisins, and some tuna. Any sort of protein based is gonna be fine. Protein is, is protein, in my opinion, so you can have your, your meats, your fish. Your red meats tend to be higher in fat, so I'd avoid those straight after a game. Again, your oily fishes, so your salmons and your mackerels, they're gonna be probably avoided after a game because they're quite high in fats, so I'd leave those a little, bit, a little bit later in the evening. So good meal, pasta um, is going to be a sort of a slower absorb, but it's still going to be good. Fruit is going to be great after a game for your carbohydrates. Crackers, anything like that, something that's immediately absorbed. So cracker, rice cakes with jam would be perfect, something like that. So that sums up our nutrition pre and post game or practice. Little things to remember to take away. So. Carbohydrates before a game, dominantly sort of complex carbs, slow release, three to four hours before. More simple carbs just before you practice, so your sugary carbohydrates. Even sweets are good. After a game, you want to be loading up on protein and simple carbohydrates. Get your body recovered, replenished, and hydration is absolutely key throughout pre and all of post. So remember, nutrition is what's going to make you a good hockey player, and nutrition is key to performance. Hi guys, I'm Matt, I'm here with a quick tip for hockey tutorials and today it's about nutrition after late night practice. It's a subject that I know is quite difficult for people when you're finishing practice at 11, 12, 1 in the morning, so it's difficult. 